agents soflo dad here back again gonna do a real quick video for you today just a quick walk through so yesterday on stream I actually went around and did the angel hunter mask which is the one I'm wearing right now kind of cool really kind of creepy but um, it's a pain in the butt to go through all the steps to get so I want to uh, kind of do a quick walkthrough and show you where you gotta go to get everything in order to get yourself this mask. So before we do that though, don't forget, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notification so you do know when we post a new video here on YouTube, and uh, let's get started. So this is the first place you are gonna go. This is gonna be on the uh, eastern side of the map in Judiciary Square. You are right on 5th, 5th uh, Street Northwest, pretty much just behind District Union Arena. So you want to be over here, come here first, and what you're going to be looking for is the noodle bar, right here. Go in the noodle bar, and head to this back room here, and right on the other side of this big industrial refrigerator, you'll see a small refrigerator and uh, it will give you an option to interact with it. You'll open it and a pair of what are called lion eyes will drop. Make sure you pick them up, collect them, and then we're gonna head to the next location. That we're gonna be heading is over in downtown east and it is gonna be just, just here to the left of this classified assignment and kind of to the northeast of final epiphany it's gonna be right here on this corner so that's the next place we're gonna go so we're actually gonna jump over to this classified assignment and then run over this is the next spot that you're gonna be coming to this is the Admiral Burger and again this is right here where this food resource node is right here it's uh, New York Avenue Northwest and 13th Street Northwest you're gonna come right here to this Admiral Burger and same thing you're gonna go in and there's gonna be a what looks to be a regular refrigerator step into the back right here same thing interact with it you'll get another pair of lion eyes to drop for you when they drop collect them and we're gonna head to the next location for you next to the vault this control point it's going to be right back here where this food note food note is so this is going to be basically 16th and 8th street or off of connecticut avenue this is the quickest way in is actually off um, <clears throat> off 8th street so we're going to head there next and quickest way there is Probably gonna jump over. Well, we can do it by foot or you can jump over here to this classified assignment. All right, the next location that you're gonna be looking for is this, this is the Kobe's. And again, it's right here at this food node. The actual front entrance is on the back street or if you come up through this alley here, it's gonna bring you in the back entrance. Either way, whether you come up 16th and around in, in the front entrance, the main entrance, or go through the alley and in the back, same thing, you're gonna be coming in and looking for that refrigerator so in here if you come in the front entrance it's on the right side behind the bar same come over here interact with it it'll drop a pair of eyes pick them up once you've picked them up then it's time to head for the next location the next spot we're gonna go to is actually gonna be up in the very corner of the map up here we have two that we got to go to one we got to do Riverside gas station and then the other, so these are all up in the West End. Um, one is right here. It is the donut shop, which is a territory control. You can either fast travel to the attic and then go over and do Riverside and then come up and do food, the food note at the, at the donut shop. Or you can come over here to the classified assignment if you've completed it. And then you can just run over and you can go here. Or you can go to DZ West main entrance and then run up and do the food resource node there at the donut shop or down to do Riverside. But you have to do both. You have to get into both. 
So we're going to go actually to DZ West and then run over to the food node. So this is the fourth location for the uh, lion eyes. So if it is a territory control when you get here, just clear it and then come into the back. You'll know you're in the right place. You see all that meat hanging. That's what you, uh, that's the room you want to be in. And then you come to the back, this refrigerator right here, same thing, interact. It'll drop the lion eyes, collect them, make sure. And I cannot stress this enough because I screwed this up the first time I did it. I opened it, they dropped and I forgot to pick up a couple of them. So I had to reset my map and do it all over again. Don't do that. So again, Donut Shack. Next is Riverside Gas Station. So we are just gonna run it and head down that way and I'll see you at Riverside Gas Station. If it is occupied, uh, make sure you clear it. And as soon as you have cleared the gas station of NPCs, you're gonna head right over here. So just in through this window, refrigerator, same thing, interact with it, and it'll drop your fifth set of lion eyes. Make sure you collect them, and then we are heading to the next spot. Next spot is actually going to be right down here in Constitution Hall. You have Ivy Tunnel and the Archive. We're gonna be right up here, just kinda to the northeast of this territory control. So you can do it a couple ways. You can, I'm just gonna run over from the archive and you're gonna go right here. So I'm gonna fast travel over to the archive and then I'll show you the last spot for the lion eyes and then where you gotta take them to get the hunter to spawn. This is again another Kobe's. And again, you are right here, 20th Street Northwest. East Street Northwest and this is the Kobe's right here that you're looking for so once you arrive here open the front door refrigerator is right here behind the bar interact with it collect your last set of lion eyes now you have all six of them now so here is a couple things one, don't die. If you die, there is a chance you may have to redo all of this to collect them all again before you can go get the hunter to spawn. So try not to die. I run the map on either normal or hard. Um, you're not trying. You're not going for XP here. You're going for the the pieces to collect in order to go get the hunter to spawn. All right, from here we are going all the way down here so between constitution ave and c street where this hyena or where this outcast box is off 18th we are going right over here and this is where we're going to find the first lion that we need to interact with so let's go we have arrived at the first lion this is where we are. Basically, we are right here at this outcast box. So actually, we should be able to see it. Uh, yep, right there, right behind us. So that outcast box is right there. Lion is right in front of you. So what you'll do, you will walk up and you'll get a prompt to interact. So on a PC, it's an F on my keybind, and it's going to rotate. Now what's going to happen is it's going to actually rotate directly across to face that lion right there. So they move to face the direction where your next lion is. So once this one rotates, it's going to bring you over to this one. So you'll run across. Do the same. Interact with this one. He's going to rotate. Once you get to this one, so there's the first one. 
Then you're going to be to the second one. When you rotate him, he's going to go this way. So he's going to turn to my left, and you're going to go straight over towards those stairs. see right here at the top of these stairs is the next one you can stand right here you'll be able to interact with him so again F or whatever button it is on your controller he's gonna turn to my left and face this way and we're gonna go down the stairs around this bush so point of reference you'll see this horse the statue of the horse keep going straight And then up these stairs and down here to the end and that will bring you to your next one you'll be able to interact with this one now the the run to the next one actually takes you from where we are here it's actually on the other side of DCD so this is uh, DCD headquarters here so we actually will have to kind of go around it and get it over here. So that's where we're going to go next is right around the DCD entrance over to the other side to get to the next one. Okay, once you get around DCD, it will bring you right here. So you're kind of right on the boundary between Constitution Hall and the the White House territories you're pretty much right there you're gonna activate this one so again interact with the the next lion and he's gonna turn this way to the left So once you get down here, you're going to just run down this sidewalk. And then kind of up in this little construction, unfinished construction area. going to bring you here so this is the last lion you will walk up and interact with him however before you do that make sure you are ready so whatever weapons you want you know uh, if you want you know an AR and an LMG or you want to be with your um, you want to have your grenade launcher, whatever whatever weapons you want. What I would recommend is don't rely on skills. Don't go after this with a skill build because this particular hunter will jam your skills and you won't be able to use any of them, not even a shield. So once you're here and you're ready, you will interact with him and the hunter is going to spawn right over there between that box and the truck and he will run. So you will probably have to chase and engage. When we did ours yesterday, he actually ran down this side street before we had a chance to finish him and got out here in the middle of this road. And we finished him actually standing right out here. So he will run. Uh, try to leave some NPCs around because if he were to run over here, there's a control point over there and the NPCs will engage him. But that is how you get this mask right here. This is the angel mask. So uh, hopefully that helps you guys and you don't have to deal with all the craziness and frustrations that we did yesterday uh, trying to get through this and get all the, the, the eyes and, you know, it was, uh, it was a challenge. So again, make sure you run your map on normal, hard, listen, there's no sense in trying to run this on heroic um, and deal with heroic NPCs um, and all that craziness. The hunter's going to be enough fun. So 
hopefully you enjoyed this and this will give you a hand and, and help you get yourself a, another mask and uh who knows you may enjoy doing the hunter's hunt and uh yeah we will see you next time don't forget once again if you haven't already hit that subscribe button turn on your bell notifications so you know when we go live here on uh or when we post a new video here on youtube also don't forget we do stream monday through friday on facebook facebook.gg forward slash so flow dad gaming and we also have our channel over on twitch twitch.tv forward slash so flow dad so don't forget to go check us out follow us over there so you know when we do live stream and uh until next time agents have a great day and thanks for watching